It's estimated that the average adult makes around 35,000 decisions every day, with the vast majority of these decisions being inconsequential. For instance, approximately 227 of those decisions revolve around food, or maybe more if you're a bit like me. When it comes to aviation, which is safety critical, the decisions we make have far-reaching consequences and could affect the lives of hundreds. An FAA circular has stated that 52% of fatal general aviation accidents were down to poor decisions being made. This is not all doom and gloom, as studies have shown that individuals who received aeronautical decision-making training, fewer in-flight errors were made. There are several different types of decision-making models that can be used, and we will run through a few of them shortly. Overall, all models can be summarized as follows. The recognition of change. Assess the alternatives. Decide to act or not act. Monitor the results. So let's take a look at a few of these models. First up goes by the mnemonic T-DODA, where T stands for time, and simply put refers to the time available to make the decision, which obviously differs from situation to situation. From say an engine issue on the ground, where the engineer or pilot would have more time than say an uncontrollable engine fire in flight. D stands for diagnose, using all the available resources to diagnose what the issue is. This could involve asking the co-pilot, cabin crew, A to Z, engineers, and so on. O, options. Assess all the available options you have. Do you continue, return, or divert? Are there any issues at the airports that you would intend to go to? Can you use other tools or parts, and so on? A, actions. Action the plan which also involves assigning the tasks to the relevant parties, in other words, the co-pilot, cabin crew, ATC, engineer, management, and so on. R, review. Continue to review the process, making changes as needed until the situation has been resolved. Next up, we have AAM, assess, action, manage. A, assess. Assess the situation using all the available resources. A, action. Following the assessment, implement the required actions. M, manage. Now the crew will continue to monitor and manage the situation. Now we'll move on to the grade model. G, gather. Gather all the information possible from the available resources. R, review. Review the information gathered and prioritize the information. A, analysis. Form an analysis from the information gathered. D, decide. From the analysis, decide which option is most appropriate. E, evaluate. Continue to evaluate and process until the issue has been resolved. The last model we will look at is called SAFE, where S stands for state the problem. A, for analyze the options. F, for fix the problem. E, evaluate the results. Now, remember, these are not all the models and there are several more out there you could use. Your company might even have one they recommend. Whichever model you choose, it can be seen they all follow the same principles. Identify or recognize a change. Assess the alternatives or options. Decide to act or not act. Monitor the results. <laughs>